Greetings, programs. I'm Young Napoleon, and I want to welcome you to episode 14 of my inaugural Let's Play series, Redux Part 3. We're working on a Texas run through Victoria 2 with no mods and all of the DLC. It's been a little while since I was able to record the previous video due to some computer issues. <clears throat> but we're back, up and running, and ready to go. In the last episode, we had we got started with some excitement as we started this war with Argentina. We also learned how boats worked. Uh, we got started with this war in Argentina. I think we had an election. The Whigs are still in control, but uh, and we're down to only being able to support two units. So hopefully, there. Um, what's the the green bar is organization. Or is it strength? Now, the strength is the first number on the list, and it's the first bar left to right, so I'm going to go with strength. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. I think that's probably because they're bankrupt. The whole reason we've gone to war with them is they went bankrupt and defaulted on their loans. Well, that's the reason we could go to war. The reason we've actually gone to war is to fuel my expansionist dreams. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to, I'm trying to decide now whether I should just go straight up in here while their strength is real low, or because I've got, this is what's weird, I don't understand why, oh, okay, that number is strength, this number is how many troops are in there, uh, and they're all red is now too small to reinforce the pop is now too small <clears throat> that's weird okay i still don't understand why this is going on i do know now why i couldn't put an admiral in here we're going to go ahead and send you back into port uh, i need to be in port to assign an admiral believe it or not you've actually got to be in a port for the admiral to hop on board So yeah, we're going to go ahead and, oh gosh, what do we do, guys? What do we do? Like, if we knock these guys out, we can basically run amok, right? But if we get knocked out, we're going to have to wait for the, the U.S. to do its thing. That's my thinking right now. And I'm also thinking... Um... I'm thinking the longer I wait, the weaker these are going to get. And then... And then we won't be able to do anything at all. Because then they'll swoop in and get us. So yeah, we're going to go ahead. I mean, they're entrenched, though. You know what we're going to do? We're going to move and see if we can't get them to, to come out. So that's going to be our first order of business. So we're unpaused, set the speed up to normal. Oh, and there they go. Let's let them attack. Because I got, do I still have Sam? Oh, I don't still have Sam Houston. My defense is a little better. Okay. Am I going to get him? Am I going to get him? Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, this one. This, this is like the only window in the whole game that doesn't. <coughs> wow, that's loud. Let's go to game options, audio. Turn down that effect volume a little bit, shall we? Okay, so. I'm going to crank the speed down just so I can kind of watch and learn what's happened. I've got a two... Um, oh, apparently he did have enough chance to dig in. But my general is offsetting that. So it's just down to dice rolls. He's got no organization. Let's see, it looks like maybe my artillery is taking part. 
there's nobody on his lines. How is that? I rolled a zero. Okay, I'm gonna crank the speed up a little bit. Um, okay, I won. Let's pause it. Let's see, Albert Whitfield brought in nearly six thousand infantry and nearly three thousand artillery. Okay, so they did participate this time. That was something that I was questioning last time. Lost a little bit of infantry. He lost a lot of infantry. And let's see, he looks like he's going that way. So we're gonna follow him and see if we can't get a stack wipe. The old stack wipe. And uh, you won, yeah, that's it. Awesome, okay. Let's, uh, I want to siege down his most populous areas first to limit how many uh, troops he can build. So let's go ahead, yeah, we'll head up here. And what's the, or with Argentina? We require 6.98 support for jingoism in our country, but only have 6.5. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. So let's, they're moving up there. Okay. So they're sieging stuff down. We're gonna crank the speed up a little bit. While we're here, we're gonna get in and add this. Oh, oh, it just automatically assigned one. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, we also got some factories up and running last time, although one of them closed down. The fertilizer factory is still going, no, the fertilizer closed. It's the ammunition, that's the one, yeah. And I realized that part of the reason the ammunition wasn't doing well is it needed sulfur and our fertilizer was eating up some sulfur. But this one does look like it's making some money. So we're excited about that. No secondary army. You know, they probably don't have the money to raise any more troops. Ooh, we got some rebels over here in, what is this, Uruguay? Yeah. Interesting. Currently in Buenos Aires. <coughs> I apologize, I got a little frog in my throat this morning. But yeah, so this is this is exciting. First war that we're leading, and it's going well. The upper house is rearranged. Still doesn't look like anything to make a decision with, but here comes some US. Okay, we've got Buenos Aires. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, good. The U.S. is the U.S. is getting to work as well. Four thousand sixteen four. <clears throat> I don't know what the. Um, oh, we can add a war goal. Score. Okay. Uh, acquire state. Cut down the size. Free people. Liberate. Dismantle. Humiliate. Acquire state. So these are all our options. Let's go see. So this one I think might be the one that I want to go to simply because it's got a naval base. Uh, and then that will give me access to, that'll make it easier to bring troops and such down if I need to expand or reinforce or, you know, colonize Africa. So this is what I want. This one is Santa Fe. Add war goal, acquire state, Santa Fe. Costs 28 war score to demand in peace deal. That's fine. And when we add this war goal, we're going to gain 11 infamy. We've, we're at 2, so that'll only take us up to 13, which means we might have some wiggle room. 13 and 11 is 24. 24.2, 25 is the cap. So yeah, we should have some wiggle room to maybe add a second war goal. Uh, if we achieve, we'll gain some prestige. If we fail, we'll lose a lot more prestige. We decided to expand our war by demanding acquire Santa Fe. We tried to be reasonable. 
Now they will pay the price for their lack of vision. Okay. This may be a mistake. I don't know. You know, like, they went bankrupt for a reason, right? So, okay, we've added that. The U.S. is now sieging down part of Santa Fe. speed things up. We'll go to ludicrous speed. Finished our breech loading rifles. Let's see. Okay. So we know artillery is doing stuff now, but I don't exactly need it. Uh, oh, research points. Absolutely right there. Okay. War is going on. What is this? Uruguay. Okay, we've got that. Let's start working on the war goal. Let's see. We require 6.98 support for jingoism. We only have 5.93. We might be able to get a little get a little expansive. Let's see. The budget's not looking too great at the moment, but we'll be fine. I'm not worried. We're going to get more people to tax, y'all. Right? Isn't that how this works? More people equals more money? Yeah, I'm still like, yeah, I have a concern. Because they, um... Let's see, what kind of... What's the... I think it's A? Yeah, a bunch, bunch more cattle. And then some grain. So I guess the grain will be nice for meeting some luxury needs or maybe some basic needs. Uh, let's see what I just pushed. S? Yes. That's population. Oh, so this is a decent amount of people. Yeah, actually, not not a whole lot. You know, it may have been a mistake. Oh, well, whatever. Um, A, we're looking at resources. So a bunch more timber, grain. Uh, oh, we got some food over here. Is this... Argentina. It is Argentinian. Argentinian? So maybe if we get the opportunity to add some additional war gold. Uh, now, I want to stay contiguous. I wonder, so Peru is their ally, right? Can I add a Peruvian? I'll have to wait and see. I wonder if I can add a Peruvian territory as uh, as a war goal. Where's Peru? Get that in here. There you go. There you go, Tim. Okay, let's see. What's the state? Lima? Lima is a state. Oh, wait, that's going to be Arequipa? Let's look at anything interesting, like some iron or coal. That's that's Lima is their capital, so I won't be able to take that. I think Lima is their capital. Yeah, Lima is their capital. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to take that. Ooh, we've got some. Why is that? That's interesting. Maybe it's. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Trujillo is in Cajamarca. So maybe, oh, the U.S. is getting busy over here in Peru. Yeah, that's still Peru. Excellent. Okay, so maybe, uh, I don't see any iron, but we've got some coal down here. So if I can, I think I'll add this part of Peru. That would be kind of exciting. This is Cajamarca. Okay. Which looks like it's these two regions, these two provinces. So that'll be exciting. Let's unpause and get things going again. Crank the speed up. Okay. Let's 
Let's go ahead. And like I said, I want to siege down their more populous areas just in case, although it looks like they don't have much left. What's the population density? S? Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So that's going to be, that's where we want to siege down there. Oh, I'm down to six troops. Oh, what did I lose? Oh, I lost my artillery. That's not cool. Oh, well, not like I was using it, right? What do we got here? 503, 749. Ouch. You know what I think we're actually going to do? I think we're just going to, like, are they too small to reinforce? Too small to reinforce. But I can support, too. I don't understand. Maybe, maybe it's because this is stuck right here. What's my population of soldiers? 7,600 soldiers in Texas. Let's see how many do I have in Chihuahua? 1,700. 4,800 in Durango. I guess that needs to be my next unit. And 1,008 in Texas. Erg. Yeah, I still don't have a handle on the... What, I did not want to... Oh, sign the convention. Do I want to sign the Geneva Convention? Let's see, it'll increase my monthly war exhaustion. It'll increase my regain rate. I'll gain a little bit of infamy, but I'll lose a whole lot of infamy. Yeah, I don't know if there's a downside to doing that. Have less bad boy than 25. That's funny. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and sign the Geneva Convention, right? What is this? Our country is a signatory of the Geneva Convention. I didn't realize the Geneva Convention was so early, relatively speaking. Like, I always thought it was a World War II or a World War I sort of a thing. They just assumed. And you know what happens when you assume. Okay. Now we're going to send... I don't want to, like, lose population. I don't know if this number going down means they're just going home or if they're, like, if this number is going down. So I'm going to send them back down to Buenos Aires. Okay. And let's let the U.S. Probably shouldn't sit on this screen just in case, right? We'll let the U.S. Uh, prosecute the rest of this war. Let's see. I am going to go ahead. Oh. Oh, well. All right, then. I guess I didn't get a chance to add anything else. That's fine. We'll add you, send you back over here, and send you into there. Okay. So let's go ahead and drop you down. We don't need you right now. Back up to 20. Okay. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Okay, back up to normal speed. So we won our first war, guys. How exciting is this? Uh, let's see. Back up to... I wonder what the like the local um, letters they've got. State admin efficiency is 10. 2% bureaucrats. You know what? I'm going to need another national focus for too much longer here which is kind of exciting what is this enable or disable this province as a rally point diplomatic tension is causing an international crisis in Thessalia the UK and Morocco wants to add Morocco to sphere of influence oh wait crisis here we go Crisis over the turn of Greece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greece and then Austria is opposing it. Interesting. Oh, uh, Austria is supporting. Wait, Austria? Austria. Oh, maybe Austria is like. How is Austria on both? That's weird. And nobody is on the fence. No backers or 
Anyways, yeah, apparently in the beginning of the game, the uh, Kreese can set some crisis points up here to try and get some of their cores back from the Ottomans. It can start off some... Uh, some... So it can trigger some wars if it's not if they're not careful but so yeah so we've got yeah so we we, we successfully prosecuted our first war with the aid with the aid of the United States uh, we're not gonna get a we got a truce yeah so the idea is not to take over necessarily argentina i just wanted this as a launching point to see if i couldn't get over here somewhere like because apparently sokoto's got a lot of people you can tax them yeah look at that 112 go to population map mode wow 240,000. so yeah if you can somehow get up here and can you see sokoto sokoto is ripe for for the plucking they're uncivilized, which means your troops can can take over really easy, can win really easily. They've got no allies, they're not protected, they're in nobody's fear. So it's just a bunch of it's it's free real estate, kind of. Yeah. Anyways, um that's that's how the game is played. Back to political mode. So yeah, I think that might give me a little bit more reach. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> we have definitely gotten the past outside the scope of me uh, knowing what I'm doing. So we're just kind of seeing what happens. We're learning, right? This is what you do when you learn a game. So, but I, I do think that's where we're going to call it for now. Let's go ahead and save that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, please, uh, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I do hope we all learn something today. See you next time.